I'll take that one. It looks delicious. <laughs> huh? I love lemon meringue. <laughs> oh, Whew. okay. Another customer for your pies, Stephanie. Get them while they last. Pies, cakes, and cookies by Heart Lake City's Primo Baker, our own Stephanie. Yummy in your tummy. Get one for your mommy. All proceeds from today's bake sale go to my Aunt Sophie's Adoptive Pet Charity. Oh, oh my gosh, that's that 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 be delicious. Cream. And Cleo here would make anyone a magnificent pet. What? Magnificent pet. <laughs> How adorable. Eat a donut. Muffin and mud. Or cake for pets. I thank you and the pets thank you. Do something! Stephanie's making me look like yesterday's bagels! Hmm, I don't know. Her baking is awfully good. Here, now say something nice about my baking. Yeah, about her, her baking. baking. Um, get them while they last! Which, uh, should be all week! Tanya's Fabu Cakes and Cookies! Almost as good as Stephanie's! <laughs> How's that? Are you serious? Yeah, are you serious? Seriously? Stephanie, are you gonna let her get away with that? Uh. Now hear this. All my fresh goodies are now half the price of Boutier's Baked Boulder. Remember, we're supposed to be raising money for the animals, not competing with Tanya. Buy two, get one free! Buy one, get two free! Get them all free! I'll pay you! I'll pay you more! Free trip to Bermuda with every donut! <laughs> Stephanie, don't! competition thing with Tanya. You let it ruin the whole pet adoption fair. Aunt Sophie's furious. Olivia's right. Whenever you're together, the two of you act like a couple of five-year-olds. Well, she started it. I mean, just look at her over there. She's not even trying. I'll be done with my side way before she is. Ugh, finally. Clean up just this part, not hers. And charge it to Daddy. Come, girls. Let's sit and watch Stephanie work. <laughs> See? <sighs> okay. You're right. You're right. I don't know what comes over me. One minute everything's fine. But then I see Tanya open her snarky little fangs, and something inside me just snaps. Well, you can't let her get to you like that. Okay, from now on, no more competitive Stephanie. Whatever Tanya says, whatever she does, I just stay calm, keep cool, let it roll off my back. I am woman, hear me shrug. Mm, this is really awesome. You guys ought to think about getting on that TV Bake Off. TV Bake Off? Yeah, Wink Smiley's Sweet Sensations. It's coming to Heart Lake City next week. Ooh, I've seen that show. It's a contest to find the best baker. My Grammy loves it. TV Bake Off? Yeah, but sign-ups are downtown, and the deadline is noon today. That's like in 20 minutes. <sighs> uh, I, I'm not competitive. I'm not. I'll donate all the prize money to Aunt Sophie's pets. It's the least I can do to make up for so not being competitive. <laughs> and there's no way I won't beat Tanya downtown. <laughs> Yahoo! Daddy insisted I take his helicopter. Well, see you there, slow poke. <laughs> Aww, one second. 
begging too late to enter. But just think of the humiliation you've saved yourself when I win. You're welcome. But, but, but... <laughs> Mr. Snivel? You bake? Do I bake? Why, well, back in the day they called me Souffle Snivel, Sultan of the Sifter. Well, I'm afraid you're too late to be on the show. Oh, pshaw. I've been signed up since yesterday. I just come to see if this stylish and debonair outfit clashes with the decor. Uh, th th that's Tonya Boutair. Is she in the Bake Off? Afraid so. So, I'd be competing against her, my boss's daughter, the mayor's munchkin, the heir to Boutair? Looks that way. Oh, fickle fate. On the one hand, there's the everlasting glory of TV bacon. On the other, the mayor's already fired me three times this week. To bake or not to bake. I can't do it. I just can't. It's too much pressure. I quit. Huh, it seems a spot has just opened up. Game on. <laughs> Say, aren't you... No! Welcome, contestants, to the briefing session for next week's Sweet Sensations! And here's your host, me, Wink Smiley! Thank you, thank you, there's no need. Let's spring into our show! <laughs> As you know, our Bake Off will decide who will go away with a handsome cash prize and the coveted title of Best Baker from a Town with a Heart-Shaped Lake in the Middle. Now, the theme of next week's show will be Springtime Sweets, which means you'll all be competing to make the best carrot cake! Uh, carrot cake? It's carrot cake, not Cake, chill. Peeler. Ah, Peeler. Greater. Greater. Pecans. Pecans. Get me a cat. Ah, wait time. Flower. Sorry, Daisy. Victory! We won! We won! I aced every surf. We clobbered them! <laughs> Did you really have to spray champagne on them? You know, James, they are my grandparents. <laughs> yeah, well, then they ought to learn to move quicker, because we're a family of winners! Just like my little girl's gonna ace that bake off! Gee, I wonder where Stephanie got her competitiveness from. Where were we? Oh, add raisins. Fantabulissimo! The best carrot cake ever! Maybe in the world! Ah, in the world! Mm. Oh, this is More excellent! Please. Really? I did put in a few extra raisins, but it's that good? Sweetheart, that bake-off is yours! If you don't mind, I'd like to take some cake to my office tomorrow. I want my clients to see what a brilliant baker my daughter is. Her mother brought some to her office while I was there. I thought you should know. I'm doomed! I've tried everything. I can't make a cake as good as that. I've been out caked. My life is over! I've got to figure out that recipe. And then, make it even. 
even better. Okay, we've got vanilla, flour, and eggs. Oh, we need more raisins. And that's the cream cheese. Next, chopped pecans, check. Okay, that's everything for the carrot cake. Oh, I also need bunny food. Next aisle. Huh, ever feel like you're being, I don't know, followed? No, I guess not. Bought, and my cake still tastes like floor mat. Maybe you should have left out the bunny food. There must be something I'm overlooking. But what? Zoe, there's only one honorable thing left to do. Steal Stephanie's recipe. It's not working! I don't get it. I used the exact same ingredients as before. Oh, mercy. Oh, no. No more. What am I going to do? The show is tomorrow. I've got to get this right. I've just got to beat Tanya. Listen to yourself. Whatever happened to no more competitive Stephanie? Yes, that was just phony baloney. That's it. Baloney. Maybe my next try can have just a smidge of baloney. Ah! Sanctuary! Come back, you coward! You can't desert me in my hour of need! Stephanie, my pants don't fit, and my skin is turning orange. I think I can see in the dark. I thought you were my friends. I thought you were here to help. We are helping, but we didn't make you eat your weight in carrot cake. You call this help? Look, the spices are out of order. Andrea, you and that... Brain make a mess everywhere you go! Feather mess? brain! And, and look here! There's carrots missing from the vegetable basket! Somebody's stealing my carrots! Stephanie, nobody's stealing your carrots. I think you're going off the deep end. We're your friends. Not anymore! Get out! Out! Got it. Coming up after the news, sweet sensations. But you must come. We can't give Stephanie a surprise victory party without her best friends. I don't know. Stephanie said some pretty harsh things. Hm. Feather brain. But I'm sure she didn't mean it. Yeah, you know how she gets when Tanya's involved. <sighs> well, I guess she is still our best friend. What? Me and my best friends forever till the end. Okay, okay. I vote with Cleo. Victory party it is. And here's the host of Sweet Sensations, Week Smiley. Hey, hey, dessert divas. Welcome to the tastiest show on TV, where first-rate bakers compete for big cash prizes. Now, let's meet our baker, Stephanie, Tanya, Mr. Piastra, Principal Earhart, and by special arrangement with her parole officer, Mama Jason. The winner will be chosen by our distinguished panel of judges. All right, bakers, our theme is springtime, so you have one hour to bake a prize-winning carrot cake starting now. I see some of Principal Earhart's ingredients are very special. Ooh, and not quite dead. <laughs> Mr. Piastra <laughs> certainly cooks with a bee. <laughs> and is that a hacksaw? Well, at least Tanya is faring nicely. Now, let's see what's going on with Stephanie. Uh-oh, it must still taste wrong. She's freaking out. This is bad. She's going into Robo Stephanie mode. Um, Stephanie, something wrong? Oh, we'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Her brain froze. We've got to help. How? Looks like the eggs aren't the only things that cracked. 
What was that noise? Jason, you can't leave. We're live, and it's ratings month. Uh oh. What? Busted. Emma, head for the hills. Now what do we do? What we always do: add some spice. Away from the shaker. All right, okay, just stay calm. And now it's time to put the cakes in the oven. That's it. We're too late. I'll just set the rabbit down here. Daisy. Unanimous vote is Stephanie. Huh? Huh? Mmm, mmm, that is yummy. Now wait just a second, you cheaters! How can her cake be better than mine when I stole her recipe? Huh? Huh? Cut you red-handed, didn't I? Jacuzzi, je m'appelle Tanya, and you are cheaters, all of you. I'm telling my daddy, I make the best cake in the world. And that's our show for tonight. Stay tuned for the all-new Celebrity Wrestling for Rye Bread. yours. Thanks, Stephanie. This prize money is going to save a lot of animals. Listen, I... I need to apologize. You know, for my meltdown. Meltdown? What meltdown? We didn't notice any meltdown. Unless you mean when you force-fed us cake till we begged for mercy and then screamed at us to get out. <sighs> right. That meltdown. I just want to thank you for being my friends, especially when I wasn't being a very good friend to you. I love you all. Aww. 